so let's say take this example same what we have been talking about firm has 50000 shares current market price is 50 the cfo is this contemplating whether he should go for dividend or whether he should go for buyback okay the amount that would be paid back to the shareholders is five hundred thousand dollars okay and if he is so he, he is like uh, he wants to give five hundred thousand dollars so he wants to think that okay whether he should give a dividend or whether he should buy back the share if he is going for buyback he would be buying back at fifty dollars per share we are assuming that the tax rate is same in both these cases okay so let us see what is the impact so you'll find that in this case share repurchase dividend paid this this are not there okay in this case how much is the dividend paid so you have to compute he wants to pay 500,000 to the shareholders okay how many number of shares is there 50,000 is the number of shares so the dividend per share turns out to be dollar 10 so the dollar 10 is the per share dividend the stock price before dividend that was paid is was 50 but please note that when the company pays dollar 10 as the dividend the share price will go down after dividend is being paid theoretically by the same amount because if the share price doesn't go down the company's value is more okay so a company what it will do is it will pay dividend pay dividend and it will increase the value so theoretically we'll say that the share price should decrease by the same amount when the dividend is being paid so earlier price was 50 after the dividend the price should become 40 okay correct now what is the value of the dividend to the shareholders the value of dividend the shareholders are getting dollar 10 as the dividend there are 50,000 shareholders so the value of the dividend is five hundred thousand dollars whatever we have seen that they have distributed okay now firm value before buyback after buyback number of shares repurchased okay these are not applicable for this firm value before buyback fifty thousand shares fifty is the price so it will be fifty thousand into fifty it would be twenty five so the firm value before the buyback is two point five million okay and the firm what has done is it has paid five hundred thousand dollars to buy back so its value has to decrease by five hundred thousand right so the value of the firm will decrease by five hundred thousand okay after the buyback so its value should decrease okay and it will decrease by the same amount so what we are saying is if the firm is buying this much shares the uh, this much amount of shares so its value should decrease by that much amount how much number number of sh shares they have purchased how much five hundred thousand dollars they are paying and they are buying back the shares at 50 so the number of shares that they will buy back will be ten thousand correct so this if you divide five hundred thousand by 50 it will come to ten thousand so ten thousand shares they will buy back now what would be the number of, what would be the price of the share after buyback so if you see this is the value of the shares okay value of the firm the number of shares would decrease by 10000 so the number of shares will become 40000 so the firm value is 2 million okay and the total outstanding is 40000 if you compute the share price would remain as 50 the share price would remain as 50 if you want to compute 2 million divided by 40,000 sorry 2 million I did not take 2 million divided by so 50 so the value of the shares will remain as 50 the price per share okay this sorry now the value price what would the value of shares the value of the shares would be how much it would be 2 million just hold on okay so the value of the shares here like I, I would should have taken an example wherein what I am saying is let's say an investor has 100 shares so how much would be his value of shares 
50 is the current price 100 shares let's say he did not sold on the buyback so it his value would be 5000 okay a person who is getting the dividend the share price after dividend is 40 he has 100 shares so the value of the shares would become 4000 okay and how much he is getting the dividend he is here he is not getting any dividend so the total value is 5000 how much he has got the dividend 4000 plus he is having 100 shares he has got 10 as a dividend so his value is 5000 so for a person who is having 100 shares okay the total value the share plus dividend is same whether he is whether the company has opted for share repurchase or whether the company has opted for dividend it remains the same so there is no difference between share repurchase and dividend for a shareholder.